Here is parts for the Keystone Sprinter. Pick, purchased it for a parts camper. Think I may end up using that window. It needs new glass though on the uh, passenger side if you're in the camper. This one's pretty rough condition. It's a wood constructed frame, not aluminum. But it's all rotted out. Had a tree fall on it. Had a tree fall on it. It uh, purchased it pretty cheap. It's got an outdoor shower. That I might install on the Keystone. Outdoor shower. Pro propane tanks. 230 gallon propane tanks. I gotta check to make sure I can get them filled. Here's a storage door that uh may end up using on it um a 20 foot awning that i got for the keystone uh i'm gonna part the camper out i haven't decided if i'm gonna I've been installed one hot water heater, but I might install this one because it's electric. It's uh, electric and gas. So, I don't know. Let's see if I can sneak up here on top. Rooftop AC's up there. Let's go up here. Rooftop AC. That was replaced two years ago. Had a tree fall on the camper. Skylight. There's a vent. We broke that vent, pulling it through a set of trees. There's a patch job somebody did to try to prevent the water from coming in. Now I'll go back down, get a little bit of video. Of the, the inside ribs real weak. Get back down here. Oh. Oh. The tight fit. Maybe I shouldn't have parked it this close to the fence, but oh well. And everybody's probably asking why wouldn't I rebuild this camper? Because it's rotted. Everything would have to be rebuilt. And it's not new enough. For me. Here's a uh, 14 foot slide. It's a mega slide. For stove. Stove, I don't know if I'm going to keep. Don't know if I'm going to keep or if I'm going to get rid of it or sell it. There's microwave that I'm going to sell. Here's another window. Another window that will be fit, pulled. A lot of little odds and ends things. A mirror. Rooftop AC. It's a duct. So I'm going to have to. I didn't duct mine. So I'm going to have to uh, determine how to uh, put the ducking in with the uh, ceiling and stuff. There's the water damage. And this wall is rotted out. To me, it's not worth. I could push on that wall a little bit and I bet it'll fall apart. I bought it cheap enough that I can gut it for parts. Here's the bathroom. I don't know if I'm going to see if I can get that shower to work or if I'm going to just buy a new house shower for it. I haven't decided. There's a little sink. If I have to redesign the bathroom a little bit, I might have to replace the sink. Here's a toilet. There's another vent duct for the thing. I've already started pulling single lights out for the Keystone Sprinter because we're trying to I'm trying to get it ready for uh, camping 
the outside won't be fully done. It won't be fully finished, but I'd like to take it out camping before uh, take it out camping for Labor Day weekend. So I'll probably get a walkthrough, uh, but it won't be fully 100%. But this is just a little parts camper. Oops, I just about went to the ground. Little parts camper that I picked up 30 foot underneath the storage. There's good water pump. Everything works on it. They lost a tree here. See? They lost a tree and it rotted out all the walls. Everybody's like, well, what? Everybody's probably trying to figure out why I wouldn't rebuild it. Well, you look right over there, there's the keystone. And it looks a whole lot better. Yes, a very short glimpse of it. Uh, trying to get it ready here. We'll walk over to it real quick just to give you guys a little bit of an idea of what's going on. Nobody's seen the outside. This is a keystone. Still got to finish up all the fiberglass and hope jet ski. Uh, still got to finish up the fiberglass. Yes, the rubber roof is on. Yes, it is fiberglass. Uh, I gotta change that front door because it's not how I want, it's not how the front door is gonna work. I gotta do all the body work. But I'm not worried about that because most likely I'll be out camping uh, for the holiday weekend, for Labor Day weekend. As long as my truck reacts correctly, it will be out. But this is the Keystone Sprinter fire rebuild that I've been working on. Uh, Keystone fire rebuild camper that I've been working on. Uh, but the, this is just a short video of the Keystone, of what the Keystone looks like right now. Keystone Sprinter and the parts camper that is right here that will be dropped to the ground within the next couple weeks but please like subscribe comment share um do all those fancy things uh if you like to uh message me or anything please let me know um, but yeah, it's a uh, work in progress. This one's a, just an old beater camper I picked up for it was less than $500. And yeah, a lot of people probably think that's a lot of money, but uh, it's got a hydraulic slide, the hydraulic motor. For this uh, slide was just replaced the motor up there for the uh, electric legs was replaced two years ago the hydraulic pump was replaced for the slide uh, four years ago the tree fell on it uh, last summer and it's been sitting out at a lake but please like subscribe share comment do all that thing, all that fancy stuff. Uh, if you like my videos, please let me know. Um, I'm trying to get more content out there. I've been doing rebuilds on cars, but faster the cars, faster I can get. I get the cars so fast and get them done so quick.